I, I think that one of the most difficult things on, on this journey, um, this, this journey of becoming um, peaceful, um, joyful, um, self-assured, uh, more productive and interactive with life, um, it, it's forgiveness. Um, forgiving those who've hurt us um, and forgiving ourselves. Something extraordinary about forgiving is that um, you never have to engage with the person ever again if you don't choose to. Forgiveness can all happen right here within ourselves. And this is a very liberating feeling. I know for me, um, forgiveness, it comes in layers. I mean, sometimes I think I've forgiven and then something rises up and I realize, oh, okay, there's more, more work to be done here. Um, and, and, you know, and I sort through things, you know, I sort through them in my therapy, um, with, um, friends, special friends, um, uh, people in my support group, um, and in my own um, creative, creative ways, um, through my painting or writing music, um, uh, making this video series is a way that I'm, I'm uh, processing uh, through things. And uh, when we forgive, it's really, it's like our wings unfold and, and we can fly. It's, um, Forgiving, it, it's a very, it's very softening. And, um, you know, when you're a survivor uh, of abuse, um, <clears throat> sometimes there can be a hardening, okay? There's like an edge. And, you know, you kind of like are ready for attack, you know? And you're out in the world and there's a mistrust and um, a certain kind of an intensity that you carry with you. And, you know, we don't want to be walking through the world with a machete, you know. We already went through the war, <laughs> you know. We don't want to be, you know, carrying that cross all the time. And, um, and, and the path, the path out of, out of that um, agony and distress and, and fear, um, it is forgiveness. Um, <laughs> One of, one of the lessons um, uh, that I, I have encountered again and again and again in, in this journey is um, to not take anything personally. Um, there's, a, um, there's a really special book um, uh, entitled The Four Agreements, um, and it's by um, Don Miguel Ruiz, and, um, and it's based in the Toltec Wisdom. And uh, the four agreements, um, the first one is um, to be impeccable with your word. And he says, if you can master this agreement, it really kind of encompasses all the agreements. And he said, you'll really move well through life. Um, so be impeccable with your word. And, um, and the second agreement um, is, is to not th take anything personally. And, and he, he says, this is, this is wild. Um, he says that, um, okay, so if someone says to you, you are a nasty, mean person, you know, he said, well, don't take that in. Don't take it personal. But also, if someone says to you, oh, you are a wonderful, beautiful, uh, fascinating person, he said, don't take that personally either. And, you know, people have all sorts of motives and intentions when they're interacting with you, and you really never know what's up or down. And so don't take anything personal. You know, just rest in yourself and be, be clear. <laughs> sounds, sounds easy, huh? Um, anyway, it's not. We all struggle, and, and um, we all have our own path of um, chaos and confusion that we're sorting through, and... and um, and, and trying to find ways to moisten the dust in the air so it settles quickly. <laughs> and that hopefully we can see clearly and, and um, rest uh, and breathe freely. Um, okay, so the third agreement is um, don't make any assumptions. And you know, there, 
I, there was like a time where I like, I really did think, I thought I knew what someone was thinking about me or, or a situation or something. And I'd like, you know, and I'd even like talk to people about it. Like I just knew what they were thinking. You know, we do not know what other people are thinking, you know, and also it's none of our business. It's not our business what anybody is thinking about us or anything else. Our business is to take care of ourselves. So don't make assumptions. Um, and the fourth agreement, always do your best. And uh, this is a wonderful um, agreement, you know, to always do your best. I know for me, um, I carried mommy guilt for, for a really long time. You know, oh, I wish I'd done that or I should have done that or oh, and guilt, 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 guilt. And um, I, I, when you've come out of an abusive um, relationship, oftentimes children have been involved. And um, they've, they've witnessed the abuse. Um, sometimes they've experienced it themselves, but um, <clears throat> even just seeing um, their mother being abused and how she handles it has a huge impact on, um, on the way they, they see the world and, and how they experience themselves. And, um, but I wanna say that, um, <sighs> I think at one, uh, one uh, point in the journey, I realized I really did do my best as a mother. My, my intentions were really genuine and sincere, and I love my family. And I love my, I love my daughter, I love my ex extended children, my extended family children. And I know they all went through a lot witnessing this. And, um, but you know what? Um, they've also gotten to witness me getting out of it and individuating and um, becoming my own person. And, you know, they can be proud of me now and be inspired. And, you know, we all go through stuff in life. I mean, abuse or not, we all go through things. We all get torn down. And, we, and, and it's how we get out of it and rise up and start walking again with a good old strut and a kick in our step. And... Uh, you know, some of the most amazing people on this planet have been through holy hell down here on this planet. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and you, it's always a surprise when you hear their story and you're like, whoa, you know, and it's inspiring. So, um, you know, I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to be an inspiration for my children and, and become a healthy person. <laughs> And um, it's been wonderful. It's been a wonderful, it, it was hard for a while. You know, there was a transition period that was really, really, really difficult. But, um, you know, I, I came through it and I'm, I'm, I'm on my own road now. And, and, and I think that, you know, I think kids sometimes they worry about their parents and, you know, they're concerned and they feel like, oh gosh, do I need to take care of them? And, you know, and I think when you start taking care of yourself, and they realize, oh my gosh, mom's okay. Like she's, she's taking care of herself and she's developed a support system around her and we don't have to do that. And suddenly they have the chance to live their own lives and you can celebrate their life and they celebrate yours and it's just, it's beautiful. So healing can happen, but it really, um, healing begins with, with forgiveness and it's us forgiving ourselves and letting ourselves off the hook. Okay. So things were weird and we didn't do so well at one period, but you know what? We're doing okay now. And even if you're not doing okay now um, and you're watching this, um, hang in there and just keep doing your best. So <clears throat> the four agreements I've decided, I'm going to integrate them into the encasement of the window uh, image um, that's resting behind the eyes. And uh, so I'll be working on that and um, we'll share it with you um, coming up here. So um, forgiveness, uh, forgiving others and forgiving ourselves.